I meant to meet a contact nearby, but the guards seem to have it in for me. Every time I leave here, I'm attacked and forced to flee. I'm simply not the fighter I once was. Would you be willing to see me safely to my destination? Death to the infidel! Take much more of this! Someone's going to get hurt. What are you doing? Hey, give it up, you're lying. Yeah. Hey. How can I respect you? <laughs> <laughs> safe here. They won't dare spill blood in front of a holy place. In the chaos, I managed to grab this from one of the guards. Perhaps it'll be of use to you.
your life! Stop it, please! You're hurting me! You no, dare no, 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 That will cost you your life! Yeah. No, no. No. Thank you. Thank you. Did you see the order? He wants us to repair a stage for another execution. Today! It's the one at the western edge of Solomon's temple. I was on my way just now. So much death. Were it that our true leader might return and bring a measure of justice to this city? Yes, and not this mockery Mejdedin parades before us. How? How does something like this happen? Everyone appointed in Salah Hadin's stead is met with an untimely end. And now the position falls to him. He, who was once nothing more than the Emir's scribe. How convenient. It would not surprise me to learn he was behind these... accidents. Shh! If the guards hear us, we'll be taken for treason. Executed on the very platform we have to repair. Come, let us return to work. Hey! You look familiar! This is above temptation. Should they act contrary to the law, no matter how minor it seems, they must be reported. A small crime today leads to larger ones tomorrow. Marjudin will help. Only come forward so that he might know their names. There is no harm in naming them. Those among you who defy the law. We are nothing without our faith, without its rules and its direction. To defy it is to defy the one who leads us. Such behavior cannot be allowed. My life. What is it? You know Mejduddin well? Better than most. He seems a bit too righteous. Is the law really so important to him? What do you think? I think he hides something, and I think you'll tell me what it is. It's a veil. All of it. Men like me, we are meant to scare them, fill the people with fear. The ones he kills, not criminals, but dangerous all the same. Dangerous to who? His plans. Their plans. Yes, he speaks of others. Those he works with. Works for, perhaps. I am uncertain. They need the city, though. Controlling it is important to them. Why? You'll have to ask him yourself. Attend one of his executions. It's when he's most talkative, addressing the crowd, hands covered in blood. Then we are done. <laughs> Sorry, Ahmad. They came without warning. My son? They have my son? What is to be done with him? We did everything we could. What is to be done with him? He's to be executed. Today. No. I won't allow it. But what can we do? 
Majduddin will hear no appeals. He says there can be no barter with God's will. This is not God's will, but madness. I'll go to him myself. Where is he? He will attend the execution, perform it even. He enjoys the act. A truly evil man. We have no time to lose then. Let's go. You again, Grandmaster. Safety and peace. I'm so glad to see you. In these troubled times, they ask me to prove myself. But I feel so inadequate when I compare myself to you. I must kill two of Mujduddin's men without a fight. Could you show me the way? I will be forever grateful and share a very interesting story with you. What happened here? Oh, no. Could you spare a few to me? No, you don't understand. I have nothing. Have yeah. What happened? You are the best the clan has ever seen. Here is my story, Master. I was cleaning the temple steps. I overheard two scholars praising how easy it was for them to pass the soldiers guarding the entrance of the execution plaza. If you time your entry properly, they could provide a nice distraction for the guards. But I am sure that with your wisdom, you knew that already. Damned archers, we are to launch an assault against one of Medjduddin's lieutenants. But we cannot do anything until the rooftops have been cleared. And I have no men to spare. Would you be willing to help? Just make sure they do not see you coming, or we will have to begin again. And it is our duty to defend before it has a chance to begin. That city is ours, has always been ours. And it is our duty to defend it until death. <laughs> The Crusaders must be destroyed! <laughs> the fires of war consume the land, and thousands of lives are lost in its defense. It seems a tragedy, but I say this is an honor to die in service to God, fighting for what we believe in. There is no greater glory than this. <laughs> I'm starting to understand why Al Mualim favors you. I assume you have been sent to deal with Merjudin, yes? Then it might help you to know that he enjoys lecturing his prisoners before executing them. While doing so, he turns his back to the crowd. It would be the perfect moment for you to strike. Now, I must attend to my men. We have our own targets to deal with. What news, novice? I am not a novice. A man's skill is defined by his actions, not the markings on his robe. We can trade barbs or do Al Muallim's work. It's your decision. Then be out with it. Al Muallim has asked that Mejduddin be slain. He is to hold a public execution not far from here. It's sure to be well guarded, but nothing I can't handle. I know what to do. And that is why you remain a novice in my eyes. You cannot know anything, only suspect. You must expect to be wrong, to have overlooked something. Anticipate, Altair. How many times must I remind you of this? Are we done? Not quite. There is one more thing. One of the men to be executed is a brother. One of us. Al-Mulim wishes for him to be saved. Do not worry about the actual rescue. My men will take care of that. 
but you must ensure Majduddin does not take his life. Don't foul this, Altair. Time is of the essence. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Jerusalem, hear me well. I stand here today to deliver a warning. There are malcontents among you. They sow the seeds of discontent, hoping to lead you astray. Tell me, is this what you desire? To be mired in deceit and sin? To live your lives in fear? Then you wish to take action? Your devotion pleases me. This evil must be purged. Only then can we hope to be redeemed. This is not justice. And all of you stand idle, complicit in this crime. See how the evil of one man spreads to corrupt others? They sought to instill fear and doubt within you, but I will keep you safe! Here now are four filled with sin! The harlot, the thief, the gambler, the heretic. Let God's judgment be brought down upon them all! She goes by many names, but her sin remains the same. She turned her back on the teachings, defiled her body to advance her station. Each man she touched forever stained. She must pay. This man speaks lies. I am here today not because I laid down with other men. I did not. He means to murder me because I would not lie down with him. Even now. Offered redemption, she continues to... Your work here is finished. No, no, it had only just begun. Tell me, what's your part in all of this? Do you intend to defend yourself as the others have and explain away your evil deeds? The Brotherhood wanted the city. I wanted power. There was an opportunity. An opportunity to murder innocents. Not so innocent. Dissident voices cut deep as steel. They disrupt order. In this, I do agree with the Brotherhood. You'd kill people simply for believing differently than you. Of course not. I killed them because I could. Because it was fun. Do you know what it feels like to determine another man's fate? And did you see the way the people cheered? The way they feared me? I was like a god. You'd have done the same if you could. Such power. Once perhaps. But then I learned what becomes of those who lift themselves above others. 
And what is that? Here, let me show you. Jerusalem needs a new ruler. So I have heard. What's this? No words of wisdom for me? Surely I have failed in some spectacular fashion. You performed as an assassin should. No more, no less. That you expect praise for merely doing as told, however, troubles me. It seems everything I do troubles you. Reflect on that. But do so on your way back to Masyaf. Your work here is done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. We done already? Get up. Whatever you say, Doc. I'm ending the session. No, I'll be right there. You're sure about this? Yes. No. Everything's Denver. I don't see how he could... Of course. I understand. You're in a lot of trouble, Mr. Miles. What's his problem? They're coming for you. Who's coming for me? Assassins. Hey, I had nothing to do with this. Sounds like they're mounting some kind of rescue attempt. Guess you're more important than you realized. Man, things just keep getting weirder and weirder around here. It was bound to happen. What do you mean? That little fight your ancestor started during the Third Crusade? It never ended. You're being held by Templars. Vidic's a Templar? There's no way you could have known. They hide it so well. But to answer your question, Vidic works for them. We all do. Abstergo is their company. I thought Templars were old dudes with funny hats who... Sat around drinking beer and plotting world domination with, like, the lizard people. No. Except the part about world domination, I guess. Look, Desmond, it's complicated. Half the stuff they say about the Templars comes from crazy tinfoil hat-wearing nutjobs. The other half is misinformation intentionally produced by the Templars themselves. But they are the bad guys, right? If there's one thing I've learned since I started working here, it's that there's no such thing. It's all so relative. I guess the best way to explain it is, what they want is good, but the way they're going about it, it's bad. Really bad. What are they trying to do? Lucy? Yes? Miss Stillman, I need to speak with you. Get up here, now! On my way, Doctor. I'm sorry, Desmond, I have to go. You should turn in for the night. The answers to all of your questions are right in front of you. You just have to know where to look. Please, Desmond. I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't leave, and I can't leave until you're in your room. <laughs> 